My name is Nazira Muhammad Razali and I will present this study, the design and simulation of C-shaped optical fiber sensor. The authors are myself, Sumiati Amran as the correspondent author, Siti Nurfatin Zulkafli, Muhammad Ali Muhammad Yuzi and Husni Hani Jamila Sapinye. All of us are from University Technology Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Start with a short outline. I will introduce a bit on the optical fiber sensor and C-shaped optical fiber sensor. Then I will show you how we conducted the simulation. After that, I will show you the output from simulation. Finally, the conclusion from the findings. Optical fiber sensor, or simply known as OFS, is a refractometer that offers simple refractive index measurement. This sensor has been applied for measuring chemical and biomolecules concentration, adulterant traces, and relative humidity based on their refractive index changes. There are two types of conventional sensor, including the microfiber, and another one is D-shaped. As illustrated on this slide, both sensors have their own advantages and limitations. It has been reported that the microfiber sensor has 10 times sensitivity greater than the shaped sensor. But the microfiber sensor is fragile due to its extremely thin size compared to the shaped sensor. This is the initial experimental work that was conducted by the two groups of researchers as an alternative to overcome the weaknesses of the conventional design. The first C-shaped sensor was introduced on 2013 and it was made up from the pure silica tube. The latest work on C-shaped sensor was fabricated on 2018 where the researcher fabricated the C-shape on the fiber backgrating sensor. Here we summarize the advantages of the C-shaped sensor that have been reported by the previous work. Firstly, it has strong mechanical stability due to more remaining cladding compared to conventional sensor. Secondly, it has high stability sensing performance. Then it is more sensitive compared to D-shaped sensor due to greater evanescent wave exposure. This can be described in detail on the findings. Lastly, it has simple sensing mechanism like conventional sensor. So why we decided to conduct this simulation? Firstly, there are limited available literature on this particular design. As shown before, we only have a few demonstrations on the C-shaped sensor. Until now, there is no simulation work that has been conducted for this design. Secondly, its advantages, as mentioned before, have proven its feasibility as new OFS design. This is the settings that we used for simulation. We used Comsol Multiphysics software to simulate the C-shaped cross-section. The table provides the parameter setting like core refractive index and the operating wavelength to simulate the sensor structure. These figures show the colored illustration between the SMF, C-shaped sensor, and D-shaped sensor when exposed to the analyte refractive index of 1.33. The red and blue color represents the maximum and the minimum electric field intensity. In the SMF structure, the electric field is concentrated at the center and equally distributed, indicating that the light is strongly confined in the core. But in the C-shape and D-shape sensor, the electric field slightly shifted towards the core cladding boundary due to lower refractive index contrast between these two mediums compared to core and light boundary. And also can be seen from the figure, the C-shaped sensor has large evanescent wave exposure compared to D-shaped sensor. So this graph shows the variation of the MFD at different analyte refractive index. At the core analyte boundary, the penetration depth of the evanescent wave increases with the increase in analyte refractive index. This is because the penetration depth depends on the refractive index difference between the core and the analyte. The lower the refractive index contrast between the core and analyte, the higher the penetration depth probing further into the analyte medium. But this condition will lead to more energy dissipation to the analyte medium, decreasing the amount of electric field intensity. Here is the comparison study between C-shape and D-shape sensor. We studied 
the effective refractive index changes towards the analyte refractive index changes. As can be seen from the graph, there are significant changes on the C shape compared to the shape sensor. Then, from this graph, we also can obtain the sensitivity value at the highest analyte refractive index, which is at 1.40. The C shape sensor shows higher sensitivity compared to D shape sensor. And this is expected since the evanescent wave exposure area of C shape is larger than D shape sensor. So this work has demonstrated the design and simulation of C-shaped sensor at different analyte refractive index, which shows different electric field distribution without being overlapped. The sensitivity achieved by the C-shape is higher than simulated D-shaped sensor. The simulated C-shape pointed to a convincing potential design as a new type of OFS. These are the main reference used to prepare this simulation. We would like to acknowledge OnSeedNet for the research grant. That's all from us and thank you.